and uh, welcome to the Bigelow Laboratory. Uh, we are going to do a digestion lesson today because you are learning about the digestive system, which is basically our body's way of processing the food we eat and then finding a way to get rid of the food, the excess stuff. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate an experiment and you are welcome to do this at home, although it takes a lot of materials. So I gathered the materials uh, so I could show you. So the first thing we need here is our meal. And we've got a meal of whole wheat bread, crackers, a banana, and we needed some protein so I have some pudding as well. So when we have our meal, we use our teeth, our teeth, our incisors, our front teeth, chew off the part of the food that we need to eat. So then this bowl is going to represent our mouth. Of course, this is much bigger, but that's okay. So we're going to use the scissors to represent our teeth that cut the food to bite into it. And we're going to um, create bites of food that go into our mouth, just like our teeth um, break up the food so that it's into smaller pieces so we don't choke, right? We don't want that. All right, so we've got our nice bread here in our bowl. Uh, I'm gonna eat some crackers next. I guess I better use my teeth, my incisors. Mmm, crispy crackers, nice and salty. All right, we've got a banana. We better peel our banana. We don't want to eat the outside of that. And our teeth are going to cut up that banana into smaller pieces so that we don't choke. And of course, we need some yogurt. Mm, who doesn't love yogurt? Toss that right in there. Yum, yum, yum. Yogurt is, I eat yogurt every single day for my afternoon snack. Okay, my plate is empty. I'm gonna go do my dishes later. I've got a mouthful of food. Now the back, our back teeth are our molars. Our molars chew up that food. These cups are going to represent the molars, the back of my teeth. And we're just going to scrunch up our, oh, gross, uh, chew up our food a little bit more so that our stomach doesn't have to work quite so hard. And also it's easier to swallow when our food is all chewed up. Some food takes a lot longer to chew than other food, like yogurt. You don't have to chew that very hard. You don't really even need to chew yogurt. That's already kind of squished up. Another thing that we need to add in here is saliva. Our mouth, when we eat, it produces more saliva. So we are going to, just making sure that that's water because I also have vinegar here, um, add some droplets of water to represent saliva in our mouth because that saliva helps the food in our mouth break down even more. And kind of the, the saltier our food is, uh, the more saliva our mouth creates because salty food is can be tricky to break down. All right, so we've got our saliva. We'll keep on crunching up here. This is kind of getting gross and nasty. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we'll stop there. We gotta brush, brush our teeth later on. Eee. That's why we brush teeth. So we've got a mouthful of food that's chewed and it's ready to swallow. Now our food would swallow, we swallow it, it goes down our esophagus and into our stomach. This gallon bag represents our stomach. And in our stomach, there is something called stomach acid. Today we're using vinegar. I'm gonna make sure it's vinegar. Oh yes, we're using vinegar to represent our stomach acid. 
and the stomach acid breaks down that food even more. So we're going to put our, and of course, the food doesn't just go right from our stomach, or right from our mouth to our stomach. It travels through an esophagus. And that's the part where it's important to chew so that the food doesn't get caught in your esophagus. All right, so now we've got our food in our stomach. Oh, you know you take drinks while you eat. We better put some water in here too. I like to drink water when I eat. So there's our drink. Make sure this is closed. Now our stomach does its job. Our stomach muscles contract to break up that food even more. And the stomach acid that's in there also helps break down that food. So it's going to keep on breaking down the food until there, I mean, right now there's like chunks and the stomach, the, the acid, and the stomach muscles are gonna keep breaking down that food until it doesn't need to be broken down anymore. It's until it's so thin that it can uh, course go into our bloodstream. That's the whole point of digestion, is to make sure that the nutrients we get from food go into our bloodstream. My hand is getting sore. All right, a little, couple, couple more squeezes here. We'll use two hands. <laughs> this is kind of gross. <laughs> It's a good thing our stomach is inside our body so we don't have to look at it. Okay, so we've got that. Next, it's in our stomach. Our, the food that we, uh, the food then travels, the part that hasn't been, um, uh, well, the food travels then to the small intestine. This right here is going to represent our small intestine. So it goes from the stomach into our small intestine here. The small intestine then condenses the food or the stuff then uh, to put, push more nutrients into the bloodstream, or it also starts to sil uh, filter through the food to see what our body needs and what doesn't. All right. <laughs> so I'm doing this over a tray because it can create quite a mess. Dump the rest of this here. Our stomach is empty, ready for more food. Okay, so the part that our, see how all this, some of this is dripping out and creating kind of this? This right here is what's going into our bloodstream. These are all the nutrients. This is what our stomach acid and our, the, the water helps all of that breaks this stuff down and it works its way through the intestine. All the way down and again, all of that, all of the nutrients is going into our bloodstream. So the intestine is also squeezing and getting out those nutrients that our body can use. This is a very messy job, again, feeling thankful that uh, this is inside of our body. To show an example here, let's see, I'm just gonna move that to the side. I've got a jar. And this jar is going to represent our bloodstream. I'm gonna move it closer. Taking apart my... When I dump this our intestine into the bloodstream, you're gonna be able to see the nutrients go into the blood. I wanna do this so you can see. So if I do one dip, do you see, oh, look at that. How cool is that? So just that one little dip filled our bloodstream with nutrients. That's the whole point of the digestive system. And that's even more, it just furthers the point of the importance of why we need to eat food that's full of nutrients and food that's good for us. Because 
things like candy and things that are like potato chips and things like that, our body doesn't need all of those things that are in those type of things. So that's just gonna be waste. That's just gonna be this part that's down here that our body doesn't need. So when we eat things like fruit and vegetables and uh, carbohydrates like whole wheat pasta or uh, whole wheat rice or brown rice, I should say, um, or uh, potatoes or sweet potatoes, um, those are all giving us nutrients that our body needs. Why make our body work harder? So it kind of does a lot of work here. I'm gonna just keep going. We know from the circulatory system that the blood then carries the nutrients all over to different parts of the body. Uh, protein would be in here. That's why it's important to eat our proteins. Your protein does not have to come from meat. If you're a vegetarian, you can get your protein from yogurt. You can get your protein from grains like quinoa and lentils or eggs. And that is what helps our body have um, do hard work. Okay, so we've got pretty much what's left is the part that can not, not be uh, broken down anymore. Um, the body does one final thing, and that's in the large intestine. From the small intestine, then this the food that, again, cannot be broken down anymore goes into the large intestine. The food goes then into the, from the small intestine into the large intestine. So I'm going to put in there. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Okay, this would be the longest part of our digestive system. Then the fun part in our large intestine, then it goes into our bowels. And from our bowels is where food is, waste is being stored. Once our bowels are full, we need to go to the bathroom, which means we have to go to number two. And we have to excrete what's left of the food that can no longer be digested. Mmm, our bodies are so cool. <laughs> Woohoo! That is your digestive system in a nutshell. Super cool. I am totally amazed that our bodies can do this. And also, how important is it that we eat foods that are good for our bodies? Fruits, vegetables, proteins, healthy carbs, things like that. So that we have nice, healthy number twos. <laughs> Thanks for joining me at Bigelow Laboratory.